Hello, welcome back. Um, today I'm doing a review, it's kind of like an update review because I did a review on the Ali Beckstrom series by Devin Monk on books 1 to 6 and this is an update on a review on book 7, Magic on the Line, which was just out on the 1st of November. So um, yeah, I'll just do a quick spoiler for your review and the majority of it will probably be spoilers. It was a really, really good book. Um, I wasn't 100% pleased with the sixth one, but this one was brilliant, I thought. Um, my major problem with the last couple was that it was just the same thing over and over, and I felt like, oh, I needed to bring in something new. Uh, I definitely think she did this with this book. Um, particularly at the end, there's a whole new kind of um, chapter kind of to be explored in the next book, so that's really good. And um, I just really enjoyed it. And even though the story didn't really get started on, like, for a good while at the beginning, I still loved it because I realised by the seventh book I was just in love with all these characters and Ali's friendships with everyone. And I was just happy to read about all their interactions. And um, yeah, I thought, I thought it was just a brilliant book and I really enjoyed it. And I was so sad <laughs> when it was finished because the next one, Magic Without Mercy, isn't out until um, April the 3rd, I think. So it's a long wait now for the next one. But I mean, compared to other authors, she is quite quick bringing out the books, which is great. Um, I think then, so we have the next one, the eighth. I think then the ninth one is the last. So um, yeah, so definitely thumbs up and recommended this um, seventh book, Magic on the Line. Um, yeah, Ali's great, and the whole the whole story really is just you know it's getting really exciting. Okay, so that's my spoiler for review. Basically, it was good. <laughs> um, now I'm going to move on to talk about the book more in detail, with spoilers and that. So if you haven't read the book before, or haven't read it yet, I suggest you switch off now. Okay, so Magic on the Line. I mean, a lot of the elements from the other books are brought into it. So the veils are still out there, kind of roaming around. Um, Ali's dad is still in her head. Um, the whole authority is all just like the big mess at the moment because people are getting fired and um, that Bartholomew Ray guy, oh he's just, he's horrible isn't he? I felt so sad when they um, closed Victor and Maeve. I was like oh no but I, um, Davian kind of unclosed them again and I was really worried they were going to close Shane and Davian and they were going to have a storyline where like Ali trying to make Davian remember her but thankfully that didn't happen. Um, so, I mean, all other elements of the books are still carried on, but it's kind of, it was a bit different as well, it's not just the same thing. Um, like at the end, this completely new thing started up, so like Ali's basically on the run, not only because like they're saying she embezzled all the money from her company and she's kind of like, um, stealing, so she's on the run from that, but also she killed Bartholomew, which is kind of like a shock. I do think he deserved to die though. But yeah, it was a bit of a shock, so she's on the run for that as well, and the whole group of them, the six of them, on the run. And then we have Davy as well, who's sick, and I, lo I love Davy. I loved him at the beginning of the book, he was so sweet when he was, um, you know, he was like assigning bodyguards to Ali because he didn't want to see her hurt. And he's just like the nicest guy, and I love his and Ali's relationship, she described him like he's like a little brother to her. And then I was so sad when he got bitten and not only was he like sick and I really hope he doesn't die, he cannot die. Not only that, but he was missing that from the rest of the book because he was mostly just unconscious so I kind of missed him then. Um, I also like Shame and I'm worried about his health as well, I hope. I don't know if they find some way to heal him because I don't want him to die either. Um, as usual, I love Xavier and Ali together. They were a bit more distant in this book, or else Xavier was more distant in this book. So I hope they, you know, their strong relationship is still there in the next one. Um, what else? So yeah, like, until Davy got bit, the storyline really wasn't starting. Um, but I didn't mind that, because I loved all the interactions between everyone. And it was just like an enjoyable read from beginning to end. That new character, that doctor, is it Eli Collins? Yeah, it's a bit late to bring in a whole new character like that, I feel, but it's kind of intriguing as well, because it's like he kind of knows Ali. And obviously, well, this is what I'm assuming, like they were together while she was in college, but obviously her memory of college is gone. 
So I hope it's not like a triangle thing brought in, like he's not, she doesn't have feelings for him or anything like that. I don't think she really will because she is like so in love with Xavier. But it'll be interesting to see how that goes, like will she get her memories back of him or what? Um, so the whole Ali getting sick using her powers thing, I thought it was a brilliant kind of change to the story. So it's not just the same Ali using her powers again. Like this thing she has to rely on other things and she can't use her powers and all her friends are worried about her. Um, I don't know, I, inst well, I didn't instantly, but after a while I thought, okay, all these symptoms are similar to the symptoms of pregnancy. So I thought maybe she was going to be pregnant. I was kind of like hoping at the end she'd click or take a test or find out she was pregnant at the end of the book, but she didn't. Maybe she went on the next book because these are all the symptoms anyway. She gets nausea when she uses magic. Okay. Forget about the when she uses magic parts. She, nausea, dizzy and passing out. I don't know if anyone else noticed it, but she's hungry a lot in the book. Like, not just hungry, but starving. Um, Oversensitive um, smell to certain smells. Um, she is. And I think the only thing we're missing, really, is kind of like um, being over emotional and maybe like a weight you know like waking or something like, I didn't think she was kind of like overly emotional in this book like she wasn't bawling crying for no reason so that didn't come in but I, know, I would really love it if she was pregnant I think Xavier would be really happy and it would be another again another kind of change in just to the book um so yeah, I'm really interested as well to see how that goes and what happens there um obviously I wasn't thrilled with I said this in the other review that um Ali's dad is in her head for so long since like the end of the second book and he's still there, but I didn't really mind him as much in the sun because he was kind of like helping Ali and he wasn't taking over as much. She wasn't in it as much. So I really hope they get rid of him in the next one. I'm, I, I, I assume it won't be until the very last one if they get rid of him. Um, yeah, but we'll see. Uh, what else has there happened? Yeah, it's just oh, it's, everything is you know, uh, upheaval now because the veils are like poisoning the magic source. and. They're on, they're on, and um, I read the first chapter to the next one, and Roman comes back into it. So, yeah, everything is kind of at a fast, not only the kind of like a fast ish pace, but it all happens in the space of a few days. Like, the books, like, even from book to book, it's only like maybe like a day later. So, yeah, that's about my thoughts on the book. I really enjoy it, I thought it was much better than the last one. And I have to wait in anticipation until April for the next one, which is a pity, but at least it's not like a year away, which is good. And um, yeah, I just can't wait for the next one. So um, if you haven't read it yet, I hope you enjoy it. And if you have read it, let me know what you thought about it. And um, thank you very much for watching.